Earlier Wednesday, police had asked that all protests be held during the daytime, but Wednesday night's protests continued as scheduled. And police responded with force. They're now firing onto the crowd. Out! Again, I just spoke with Alderman Antonio French. He is from St. Louis. He has been on the scene night after night recording what's happening out there on the ground at these protests where we continue to see these clashes with police. He tells me and insists that what happened last night was unprovoked by the protesters. He says that police were the first to use force, that they fired the tear gas and some of those flashbang rounds upon nightfall. Around 9 o'clock, he said, um, just because the protesters refused to move. But he said the protesters were peaceful up until that point and then responded to that police action. He says he was arrested from his car because he was shooting video and wasn't, quote, listening to police officers. So this is some of the reason, as we hear these different accounts, I'm sure police will tell us a different a different story, and we're continuing to ask them questions about what, what they say happened. But he's saying these are reasons why there are these these two sides that can't seem to meet somewhere in the middle. And he says until there is a better open dialogue, more communication, that this situation could continue to escalate, Carol. All right, Anna Cabrera, I'll let you get back to your work. We'll bring it back in the next hour of Newsroom. Thanks so much.